Okay, TV Production Guy here, back with another lesson on Final Cut Pro. Today we're going to be talking about uh, some of the main tools in Final Cut Pro. So let's go ahead and open up your FCP. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a new sequence. I'm going to right click in the bin, come to New Sequence. I'll title this Tools. Now you can use any footage you have for this um, and follow me along. I'm going to pick a couple clips out from our raw video. And lay them down in the timeline. First tool we're going to talk about is the arrow tool. That's your main selection tool. That's right up in here. We're already clicked on it. You can either hit A for arrow or you can actually click on the arrow and that'll move you around. You can move it to where you want to set your ends and set your eye and hit your end and it can come down in your timeline and say I wanted to switch these up I could highlight lasso highlight this whole first clip and move it down here in the end of the timeline. I could take the second clip lasso clip it and pull it all the way to the front and I could lasso clip the second clip and move that one to connect with the first one. I can also disengage the video and the audios and it's just your all around main selection tool. The next tool I want to talk to you about is the blade tool and to get that you can either hit B or you can just come right over here and click on it. Now what this tool does is, is if I decide I'm watching this through and I want to stop here let's say I want to stop there and I want to cut the rest out. I can actually cut with the blade tool and it'll actually come right to where my cursor's at and if I hit it it'll cut and make a split edit. I can do the same thing on the audio then I can come back to my arrow lasso and delete. Lasso this one and pull it to connect. I'm going to undo that. I'll do all three cuts the other tool you should know about is the pen tool. And you can either hit select that by selecting P, or you could just come over and click on it right down here. Now, if we listen to this audio, say we just want the very beginning to be a little bit louder. We could decide to, to once we turn on our keyframes, we could decide how long we want this to be loud and then come down and lower in volume. So we can click right on this red line, it creates a little dot here, and come down a little bit farther and create a second dot. What that keyframe does is I can now pull this down and you'll see as we play this back how the sound dissolves out. Now you can use that for uh, you know dissolving your sound in and out. You can also use it for uh, fading your shot to black. So let's say I wanted this shot up here to fade to black as it got to the sign. I could come set a keyframe on the video line and come down a little bit farther and set another keyframe. Pull this down, oh sorry, pull this second keyframe down and it will now dissolve from a full shot to black. We'll go ahead and undo those. The next tool I'll show you is the zoom tool. You can come over here, either hit Z to click the zoom tool, or you can just come over here and click on it. You can hold down option and it'll become a minus key. But let's just work with the plus zoom key. If I have my zoom key, I can click on where on my timeline I want to zoom in. Then if I hold option, I can start clicking to make it become smaller. Again, we'll zoom in. Let's say we've zoomed in so far. I want to teach you another, I think we've already gone over this, but let's let's say it again. We can do a Shift Z, and that will make the timeline fit to the timeline window. All right, those are the main tools that I use when I'm editing in Final Cut Pro, and I just wanted you to make, make you guys aware of them so you know what each one does and how you can use them. Now, obviously, I just showed you the very basic ways of using them. 
The other tools I don't really use as much. Maybe some other editors might, but for me, I don't I don't use them in my everyday work, so I don't feel like they need to be taught to you. There's other things you can do that are just like those tools. So the, the four main ones I showed you how to use. All right, guys, this is TV Production Guy signing off.